ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the closing ceremony. And uh, I give uh, the floor to Cohen, director of the United Nations Mine Action Service for some um, concluding remarks. Madam Director, Thank please. you, Bruno. Some very, very brief closing remarks. It's been a really wonderful two days. I've had a fantastic time here with you, and I think I've seen a lot of um, networking. I know we've done a lot of knowledge sharing. I'm, I know we always do a lot of um, renewing friendships. I think we've done some strengthening of partnerships, and I think um, this was precisely our purpose. And while I, I told you yesterday that I was very pleased that many of you had contributed to prepare, preparing the agenda, I think I now look forward to your feedback when we send you out a survey and ask you, you know, did this really meet your expectations? In what ways can we uh, improve? Um, I, taking a, a, a card from um, Ian's uh, songbook, I can say my very first job in Unmass in 2003 was to organize the sixth of these meetings. So I haven't been at 25, but I was uh, all the way back to number six, and they have gotten, um, well, they've stayed uh, fun and interactive and informative, but there's always ways to improve. So when, when you get the survey, please give us your feedback. You know, this year is the first time that we tried to uh, combine with the intercessionals. There are pros and cons of having done that. There are some economies of scale. There's also a loss of a day that we, we used to have or, or, or two more that we used to have perhaps in the past. So tell us how you felt about that. Now, if you're leaving this meeting wishing that you'd had more time to talk about certain things, Tell us what those things are, because one thing we've learned in the past two years is that there are plenty of ways to continue discussing uh, virtually, even if we're not uh, meeting until uh, next year. We could convene smaller focused meetings on topics that you left here uh, feeling we hadn't concluded uh, the work we could do on them. So let us know. I think I want to really stop there with a big thank you to everybody for coming, for contributing, for um, a lot of really goodwill that I think um, you've shown to, to me and to the organizers and, and to my team, and I'm grateful. And I really look forward to the 26th uh, National Directors Meeting, and I hope that if you're traveling, travel safe, and be well, and uh, take care in the places that you're working, and thank you very, very much for the work that you do. Thank you, Madam Director. I now have the honor to introduce Mr. Alexandre Zouyev, Assistant Secretary General for Rule of Law and Security Institutions at the Department of Peace Operations of the United Nations for his closing remarks. Sir, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Bruno. <coughs> Excellencies, dear colleagues, partners, dear friends, well, first of all, it was my uh, great privilege to join you for the 25th meeting of Mine Action National Directors and United Nations Advisors. Well, and obviously, uh, after all uh, interesting developments of recent uh, and ongoing pandemic, uh, I'm very happy to see that so many of you choose and were able to participate in person. It's a great achievement already. Definitely, I, I would like also to start with thanking the government of Switzerland and the canton of Geneva and the city of Geneva and our partners uh, from uh, different uh, non-governmental organizations, uh, not only from Switzerland but from many other countries, for supporting and uh, engaging. And uh, it was really immense support to this meeting. So we are very grateful for their leadership and partnership. As in previous years, this meeting is a great platform for the mine action sector to have an open exchange of ideas, successes, 
challenges. And you, you just heard, uh, you know, an excellent story, excellent story, and it's evolving story, what is good, that I hope also, you know, that all of us together we will contribute uh, and we will continue this uh, very important strategic and uh, very uh, results-oriented tradition. Well, this approach will continue to serve us well in our work towards a mind-free world. And uh, also this year's team, uh, Safe Ground, Safe Steps, Safe Home, helped us focus on our attention on our major beneficiaries, on uh, civilian populations and uh, women, girls, boys and men, of course, uh, you know, and it was very important. It was in certain sense, uh, sobering, uh, you know, and maybe some pictures were very graphic, and you remember, you know, some presentations, but at the same time, they showed us how people really suffer from uh, landmines and other explosive ordnance. So it makes your work, your leadership, life saving, and making it very important. I mean, you know, I work in Department of Peace Operations, but I believe that mine action is one of the great components of peace, not only of peace operations, but of peace. Peace building, sustaining peace, and uh, I'm looking forward and uh, with my colleagues and new, di new director of ANMAS, you know, to working uh, with all of you on building this uh, brighter future. Uh, well, uh, some accounts, I mean, you know, which were done by uh, Dr. Katrin Finsnes from the International Committee of the Red Cross during the opening ceremony were very kind of, uh, of eye-openers, maybe even to some very experienced professionals attending these meetings. And uh, I don't mean to try to summarize all rich discussions which we had in different sessions, and I am definitely had not only bilateral meetings with many of your delegations, but also attended, you know, some very important um, consultations and uh, uh, different types of plenary and uh, side events. So, but I have to mention that the plenary on the humanitarian development and peace nexus uh, was a model for a coherent and sustainable re response to conflict, clearly demonstrated the role of mine action, which it can play across the peace continuum. You know, we are struggling in the United Nations to make our response and our engagement always very coordinated, coherent, and uh, this integration, this integration uh, of uh, different uh, pillars of uh, peace, security, humanitarian uh, development, and human rights. Uh, I believe that mine action programs represent, uh, give us best examples. I mean, you know, how it uh, uh, should be done. Well, uh, I will share all these valuable insights from uh, our um, current discussions. Uh, not only in my office of the role of law and security institutions uh, and with all my colleagues, but uh, with our colleagues in field missions, not necessarily working on mine action. I mean, you know, and it's very important that we uh, share all lessons learned, best practices, and I always call uh, in other parts of my office of, on colleagues working for instance, uh, in the United Nations police or military uh, peacekeepers, you know, who should be, you know, they are very deeply involved in different uh, type of mine action programs, but we also have colleagues working on DDR and on reintegration, on reintegration of ex-combatants, and uh, they are also very closely relate to uh, weapons and ammunition management programs, you know, which uh, or, closely coordinated or included in your program. Innovations and success stories in the field of risk education were also, to me, very inspiring. And I would like only to applaud, you know, all the efforts you have made to ensure that messages promoting safe behavior were shared, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. And for me, it was also very important uh, that it's not only uh, 
colleagues from ANMAS, not only colleagues from National Mine Action Centers, you know, but many other members of the United Nations families, especially such as UNICEF, UNDP, and many others, they participated, contributed, and in many situations they were leading, <coughs> leading uh, these risk education programs. Well, I was also glad that this morning we had a discussion uh, with our uh, donors uh, supporting us in many ways, and I said it's not only about financial support, it's about political advocacy, it's also about uh, secondment of staff, and we have very, very uh, professional uh, staff working uh, as a gratis personnel or government-provided personnel, you know, in many of our mine action operations. Recently, we really appreciated uh, great support which we got uh, on our work with a kind of a new and more uh, complex challenge of IDs and uh, gratis personnel from many countries was of great help to all of us. So we definitely discussed uh, and uh, we are looking forward how we can strengthen our partnerships with uh, donors, with academia, with uh, think tanks, policy centers, uh, it, uh, different types of uh, civil uh, society representation. I mean, you know, it might be uh, NGOs, it may be, you know, professional associations and many others. I was also encouraged to hear about the ongoing conversation on equality, diversity, and inclusion. And yesterday I attended this session. I, I, in my view, it was a stitch in time, which brought a very important and new dimension, you know, to our joint work. And uh, I am also pleased uh, that basically the mine se action sec sector continues to be ahead of the curve in this regard, I mean, and uh, it's, uh, we definitely work not only in mine action on these issues, uh, and we are fighting any kind of uh, racial, dis uh, racial discrimination, we have definitely, we proclaimed and we, every day, we try to prove that uh, we have zero tolerance to any kind of uh, discrimination, uh, uh, abuse of authority, uh, sexual exploitation, or any kind of misconduct. And I w was very, very glad to hear, you know, about this. Well, the recent United Nations Mine Action Strategy Progress Report shows that in locations where the United Nations is present, the number of casualties unfortunately continues to remain high. And I have to tell you, it means that unfortunately, uh, probably uh, neither this uh, nor next NMD won't be the last one, you know, because we have rising numbers of casualties and uh, we only in 2021, we had more 12,000, more than 12,000 casualties. And uh, uh, with the highest numbers reported in Syria, followed by Somalia, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Yemen, some 135 mine action organizations in the meantime to help and to work on these areas made a very loud appeal. I mean, you know, and it's for almost more than a quarter billion of dollars. I mean, uh, 279 million US dollars through different types of humanitarian response plans. And we mean to help 25 million people facing se severe or extreme risks in uh, at least 18 countries. Thus far, we are already, I am glad that jointly we manage with you, with all uh, thanks going to our generous donors and supporters, financial supporters, you know, we managed already uh, to raise uh, more or less one third of this amount, but from statements which we've heard this afternoon, you know, there are big needs in many different countries and regions, and uh, definitely we should continue this work uh, together. Well, uh, we definitely uh, must continue our efforts in urgent uh, full compliance with international humanitarian and human rights law related to mine action. 
which includes not only the conventions on anti-personal landmines, cluster munitions, conventional weapons, but it also includes the uh, rights of uh, persons with disability, which is much broader uh, international convention, as you know, uh, United Nations uh, developed and uh, sponsored this convention. So we call literally on a daily basis uh, to all states and member states of our organization to accede to all of these conventions and definitely to avoid the use of explosive weapons, especially in populated areas. And uh, we are unfortunately with many crises evolving uh, around the globe, you know, we are facing uh, these kind of uh, challenges everywhere. So once again, I would like to commend all of you for your excellent achievements and I wish you every success in your important work and definitely as Eileen said I mean you know return safely uh, to your uh, homes and uh, uh, let's let's collaborate let's work let's see what how we can make uh, life of uh, our beneficiaries different different and better be safe, be safe, and I hope to see all of you, but also with many colleagues next year. It will be already 26 uh, NMD, I mean, and uh, I'm sure that uh, we will have another, another brilliant opportunities to network, to discuss our partnership and uh, collaboration. Thank you again. Uh, merci beaucoup uh, uh, tous les collègues uh, Suisses de la Confédération. Thank you again to all the, the Swiss Confederation colleagues, the colleagues from the city of Geneva. As I said before, we are very pleased to be here with you. Thank you very much.